Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. First off, I would like to remind everybody to always stay stress-free, especially now, this pandemic, we always have to look good, feel good, and really eat healthy. Sister's Place in the Valley and I am going to unbox or unwrap four online purchases that I made which are all dental instruments I will be needing for my upcoming home service dental prophylaxis services. I have already put them up here in this table according to size from the smallest to the largest and we're going to start unwrapping with the smallest one here. So this is a small mouth gag, a retractor, which has rubber tips. The size of this is 4.7 inches in length and about 1.57 inches in width. This is normally being used for humans, but I can use this for my small animal patients as well. So for this particular package, which again came from China, I would say this is a good buy because this is actually the cheapest one that I could find in the online platform, which this time is Shopee. And uh, I have also checked on the reviews before actually placing that order and all has five star reviews. So I'm very confident with having this purchase. It came with this small big black plastic bag and with this a bubble wrap for a packaging. So nothing else more in terms of trying to protect the product. Anyway, this is hard, this is durable, this is stainless steel. This is autoclavable. So uh, you have no problem in terms of sterilization and having to use it again for your coming uh, patients. This is, once again, a small type moth mouth gag self-retaining. So it's better for me to have the self-retaining types rather than the retractors that would be held by humans or, or, or uh, any members of the surgical team. I think with this one, I can work by myself. And of course, having to do the home service, that would be very convenient for me. For anyone who has not seen this type of retractor, so I will be showing you how to open it. It's very easy actually. All you have to do is to pull this down so then you can now open it. And just to demonstrate, it's like putting it inside my mouth here. Okay, that's why you have this rubber part. So at least it will not be too cold or painful for the patient. And then you do the retractor here to open the mouth of the patient. So that's it for this product. Once again, I'm very happy with this one. Five stars to the seller of this product. Next, we go to the second one. And again, coming from Shopee. And this would be from a Chinese supplier again. We have the typical packaging. This one does the very thin foil plastic without any bubble wrap attached. So then we have separate bubble wrap for the dental tool. I have purchased four separate pieces of dental lactators. And at this time, I did not avail that comes with a pouch. Once again, these are dental or oral surgery extracting apical root luxating elevators. So much to memorize. But simply, you can say it as dental luxators or elevators. You have several sizes for that. Uh, usually, you would have number one to six. 
And if you can remember, I was already able to get a big luxator from my previous purchase. And that's about number 5 or number 6. So what I ordered from this another supplier would be the sizes from 1 to 4. All of these items are actually stainless steel. They are lightweight. And of course, they would also be autosavable. I have here number 1. Let's open it up. This would be very good for my small animal patients that are of small breeds. So we have cats or kittens and we also have the small breed dog breeds such as the Pomeranian, the Chihuahua and the like. And in each of the plastics, you will see a specific label uh, indicating the size of the dental lactator. So this one you can see here N1 and then you will see the small dental lactator type. Okay, going forward of course we have number 2 and this is number 2. This is for size number three. And this is for size number four. Let's try to compare the sizes. Number one is very, very small, but the supposed number two is like medium size already. It's supposed to be still small, but not this large. So I think this is not really the proper number two. And in case, I think sometimes they have this mislabeled items as well. And this is number three, which is very big. And this is number four. So this is not actually what I really wanted. The sizes are quite different from each other. And I don't think they're right. It's already, you know, mispackaged or mislabeled packaging. So with this one, I will not be able to give the very, very thumbs up with this supplier. And I will just try to contact the supplier for any explanation. Probably there's also a mishap on their part or and um, of course, we can work things out. I probably ask for a refund or something like that. But nevertheless, I am happy that still I was able to get the dental luxators. And even if this would not be the sizes that I really want, I'm sure that I will be able to still use them. And of course, just to be resourceful as Filipinos, I will just have to modify and adjust something on my protocol to still be able to use them. So it's not really much of a loss for me. I just have to really get back with the supplier to clarify things first. Now we go to the third package. And this one, this came from Lazada. Now I'm happy because finally I was able to get the proper dental tool with the container or pouch that I want. If you have viewed my previous vlog, I was quite disappointed not to get the pouch. And I only bought the specific product because of the pouch. And without the pouch, of course, I was a little sad. And this time, the supplier, again, coming from China, yes, coming from China, was able to send me the proper product, what's inside, uh, what's in the advertisement is the same as what the supplier sent me. Okay, this is a 10 pieces dental cover tool set and you see that I have 10 pieces. 
So I'm happy that I was able to get the right product as advertised by the supplier. This would be for the human dentist and they would need this to carve the mold of the mouth of their patients for dentures and the like. I am not actually sure how much I would be able to use this for my patients. And actually this is very funny because I cannot really remember why I purchased this. So that's I think part of the attitude or like the behavior of consumers when you are very much enticed with the advertisement in the online platform or whichever platform and uh, I mean the, the price is not so much, you can afford it and uh, you really just want to purchase it even if you're not sure how will you use it. So I think I was just so much enticed with the pouch, I really want to have the container or the pouch badly. Probably what I plan to do with this product is to remove some of the tools that would be needed for carving and this would be the ones that I would not be using as much. Keep them in a safe place and then I would use this pouch for the usual dental tools I would need for my home services. What I like about this pouch is of course the garter here which will keep the tools in place. So that is what actually was what I was after for for this pouch and with the plastic pouch that I got instead from the previous purchase my tools are not so much secure and since it is just plastic it might break anytime and I was able to actually remove those tools in that particular plastic container and put it in a loose pouch something like uh, container for your toothbrush so they're just loose so when I move them they sound no they click on each other so with this one they would be secure here okay um, well so much for that no I only bought it's like I only bought the pouch and of course with that it's like I spent more just to have this pouch so that's the behavior of consumers <laughs> Now, lastly, we are up to our last box. This is the big one. I came from Shopee. So you have several of these available in the other online platform, which is Lazada. And this one is what you call the dental loop. And loop is uh, a type of a small magnifying that's usually being used by jewelers and watchmakers. But with the loops that they use, they have to be very near the item that they're trying to examine. But for the dental loop, you don't have to be that close to the tooth. So at least it gives you the distance. So it gives that uh, much of the magnification that you need so that you would not be too close to the tooth of your patient. So let's see. It has a fragile sticker here because it, this is um, a delicate equipment. Another box where we have the equipment inside and of course we have the bubble wrap so at least have the cushion effect inside. So we have this double carton here and this is the dental loop. I remember I ordered for a black one, black or silver, okay? We have marked here as silver. First off, we have instructional manual. And we have one in both Chinese and English. But like I said earlier from the previous vlog, I don't expect much with the uh, grammar of the instructional manual. For as long as you really understand the gist, you do fine. We have two manuals, one for the dental loop itself and it tells you about the different products inside and the magnification of each of the lens and the marking distance etc. And we have another one for the portable headlight. I already purchased for the set 
and some of you may see product that would only have uh, the the lens or the magnifying lens and have the lead uh, headlamp separate this would be the power source for the headlight this would be of course for the plug the power source this is the lead headlamp which you will attach on like the rim of the glass eyeglass and this is the dental loop of course there are lens included in this equipment that's why it is a fragile product so each of the lens has this cap Okay. And I like the sleek design. It looks so cool. It's like wearing an Oakley. I remember having an Oakley when I was younger and it's also silver. Okay, so let's try to attach the headlight. And you can, of course, change the angle, adjusting it to where you want it to really shoot the light that you need. Let's unravel this cord, this twist text, so that we can attach it to the power source. So you have this plug. This is my first time to open it. I would uh, suppose that I would need some charging time. You see some paint labels on this uh, power source, and you have here the on and off button, and the other would be just an indicator that it is charging. So we have this small light bulb here, and the one on top would be for a DC input. Okay, so we'll see if it has a little bit of a battery. Yeah, okay. So you can see that it's working. So I'm very, very happy. At least I don't have to apply for refund or return. Okay. And uh, now let me turn it off first. So you can also, of course, adjust the uh, intensity of the light. So as I move further to the farthest of the on switch, the light maximizes or increases in intensity and if i want to dim it a little bit then i just go towards more on the off switch button okay if i need to charge it okay this is how we will be doing it so we put it here in the dc outlet and then uh the usual one we have this 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, typical appliance that we have. And we have the same specs as with as what with China. So we have no problem with this one. So I can just plug it anytime if I need to. Okay. So let's try to test for the uh, lens. It has a clip, by the way. I will just have to adjust it further down. And so, to keep it in place right there in the rim of your eyeglass, you can clip it in your upper garment. Let me show you the features of this center loop. We have two lenses here. Each of the lens, you can adjust to each to either direction. You can have it to the left or to the right, but not so much to the innermost direction. Okay. 
And then of course, on the other one, you can do the tape. So I'm just showing you, okay? The adjustments would be on the nub here if you want to tighten them. And you can see up front would be the magnification. You have 3.5x to 420x. So that's the magnification. And you can also adjust the distance between the two lenses. And this would be the nub here. And of course, you will need this to adjust depending on the distance between your two eyes. And same as when we use the microscope, we would want just to have one optical sight so that it would not be busy for us going through the procedure, okay? And the, of course, the lens here doesn't have uh, any magnification, so this is just to protect you. And we have this uh, plastic end here, so at least it would not wear off easily and it would not be painful as we go through the rest of the surgery because it might take a while okay so it looks very very cool i really intended to buy the silver because for me it looks way cooler than the other colors besides silver you can have this in black and also blue yellow or gold and red okay so let me try it okay let me adjust the distance okay so i think this is fine with me so it's just very easy it's lightweight i don't have a problem so the thing here to be able to really get that really fine details that sharp details of the tooth of your patient so it works well with object being near you so with the object here as with a container so i can uh, easily see it. It's like having a 20-20 vision. But if I'm going to look at objects right uh, far from where things are like, let's say the distance of where the camera is, of course it will now be blurry. So it's not meant for that. So it's meant for you to have a magnified vision of items very near you. So to give you an example here, let me read the contents of the uh, instructional manual so we have portable led headlight with small size and lightweight so that's it so i can easily read this even with the two lenses in front of me so they would help me have a better vision of course without the lens just having uh, this items in front of me if i will not have a clear vision because it would be an obstacle to where i want to have this manual okay i actually have a near 2020 vision so when we have procedures being done in daylight actually i will not have a problem looking into the details of the parts of the patient but in case that i have to do something like with low light it would be easy for me to have this dental loop because of the light source here. So the first idea that I actually got is I need the basic headlamp. Okay. The ones that you use for hiking. I used to have one but because of time, it's not working anymore. So I really need to have a replacement. But instead of using the hiking type or hiker's type, uh, headlamp I decided to buy something like medical type so let me just adjust the lid so this would actually go over your head and remember you have this clip here so you can attach it at the back of your garment ideally at the center of your garment okay right there so let me turn on the light okay so you wouldn't appreciate uh, the light source right now because we are of course in the daylight shooting this video but at night you will be able to see that we have a better view of the uh, surgery size because of the source because of this headlamp 
So, in all, of course, I'm very happy with this purchase. And I would actually suggest to people looking into this product to also purchase the way I did. Already get the set. And rather than having to purchase separately because of course that would come out to be a little more expensive i think i was able to um, save about 500 uh, with having this set okay and they also sell a specific container uh, for this set but i was thinking of not to get it yet because i have the box anyway and they have already the box itself already has this cushion this foam to serve as for added protection so that it would not be moved and would not have any uh, dents or any broken parts in the future we also have this additional part here which is something that you can put in the uh, side of your dental look eyeglass and this would be easy so at least you do not have to worry of it falling from your face okay so this is to protect it most of the oldies would have this for their eyeglasses so that they would not have to misplace their spectacles so it serves the same purpose the material is uh, rubber inside and it has a cloth wrapping that's uh, easy to dry up okay. and then of course we have this adjustable button here that's it so let me remove all the plastic and then we will be rating each of the product now i have my four online purchases lined up first we have the uh, small malt mouse retractor self-retaining one and this is actually very good so this i give for five stars and again we have the four pieces dental luxators supposedly numbers one to four and this one not so good probably i give four stars and this is the 10 pieces dental carvers of wax tool set and this one, of course, I give five stars, even if I don't know if I will be able to use all of the pieces here. And lastly, we have this very, very cool dental loop set together with this lead head piece. So please also give your comments down below in the comment box and tell me what you think about my online purchases right now and which one would be your favorite. Again, please do show some love. Don't forget to hit that notification button as you also subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to give your comments down below and of course, share and like this episode. Once again, thank you very much. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.